Well, it turns out the last session created pretty much an hour-long video. Uh, and I expect it'll take at least as long to finish what I want to do this time, which is pretty much just to finish up these areas north of the highway. I've been facing south for the last video or two, by the way. So this is the normal orientation. Yeah, pretty much just these areas in between the port and the highway. And then I also want to work some on this new area around the new road. Not sure how I'll deal with this railway. Probably have some kind of overpass because it's a major one. As opposed to this, which only really serves one city tile out west. Okay, so let's get started with zoning. Uh, Hmm. Now, a good way to start with that would probably be to expand out this uh, road here. And have another highway underpass or overpass or... Uh, you know what I actually wanted here was uh, partial ramps. Uh, let's see, we already got a lot of people taken that way. The closest place to get on is way over here. Yeah, I was thinking maybe like I could just have one off-ramp or something. Yeah, yeah, there's really nothing to lose by just having one off-ramp. And I'd also like an on-ramp in this direction, or eastbound, but I don't think that'll really be possible. I think if anybody wants to do that, they're going to have to curve around to this city tile and take it from there. But I might have one off-ramp here and a matching off-ramp here so that, you know, I have like a fully functional exit over here, but, not enough, but you have to go somewhere else if you want an entrance. that should be pretty cool because yeah there's no real room for an on-ramp eastbound as you can see the eastbound lanes like they have to make this really wide curve in order to move over just one tile that's because there, there's no s-curve or lane shift piece for rhw6 so this is actually the uh, most compact way to get it to go from uh, being from dual carriageways one tile apart to together. You have to do all this shit. So I just put in this little finger lake here to kind of try to make it look like there was a natural reason for what I did. Even though the only real reason was uh, the NAM team not having created the pieces they should have. Or that not that they should have necessarily, that makes it sound like I'm saying something incriminating. But, you know, uh, the puzzle pieces that I've come to expect from other RHW networks. Yeah, that street, I don't think I really need. So I'll just get rid of that. Unfortunately, there are no on-ramps for a fractional angle carriageway. So there's literally nothing I can do about this. Oh, unless I did a loop ramp. Well, that actually sounds like a pretty good idea. So, I might as well expand this out. And if I want to do a normal overpass with an avenue, it has to be 15 meters to fit with the RHW pieces. So I'm prevaricating a bit over whether to do that or just convert to RHW. And 
So I'll just do the, uh, the long transition here because I haven't really done anything similar in a long time. Yeah, that should be just fine. Then I could have uh, local streets, you know, just curving around and doing their own thing in this corner. I'm actually going to need that to be one tile further back. This one can be a bit closer. Yeah. So, transitions. Two tile flex height. You probably fit that right there without issues. Now let's see about uh, getting the right kind of ramp in. Is there a 6S type A1 wide? Sure enough, sure enough. So I'll give the acceleration lane as much space as, as I can afford to. Like there's only just enough. Mm. And uh, that's not even the direction I wanted it in, honestly. Okay, I'm going to need to replace my neighbor connector. Okay, got that. Might as well do this one too, just to make sure they match. Uh, I don't know why the graphical error bothering me so much this time around when basically I was free from it for a bunch of episodes. But uh, that's just life I guess. Um, so let's get uh, the right ramp in there. Success A1 wide. All right. Hopefully that's plenty of deceleration lane space. Looks good enough to me, I guess. And yeah, this is the one that was a bit less important to have at grade intersections. Or to avoid them, I mean. Yeah, we actually want this to go this way. that work? Let's check. Success type B1. I'd really like to have acceleration deceleration lanes here, but I guess it's not entirely you know, 
most important thing. So I actually probably want to move that two tiles further out to around here. Yeah, that isn't going to work. Maybe if I place the ramp first, though. <coughs> Excuse me. So yeah, I doubt this will work, but I'm just going to give it a try. Yeah, nope. Could I get away with deleting the starter piece though? It's not a trick I've tried too much. Looks like it. Sick. And I actually feel like I could lose a tile here on this curve. Yeah, that's actually exactly the same, but I don't want to lose more tiles than this. It just looks too sharp compared to the other angles. So I'm going to put uh, my MIS starter right here. And I'm going to need to use filler pieces for these diagonal spots. Just like that and that. And that should be fully functional. And you can hook up that ramp. It all fits perfectly, just as intended. Maybe we can have another intersection over here. Mm, might as well, I guess. couple cul-de-sac streets over here, I guess. Just bland suburbia. Keeping this area clear. Maybe with a bus stop say at this intersection and again one right there that should be plenty for this area and again one over there because eventually that will be important hmm Maybe what I could do here is uh, use a bit of AV2, just as a temporary solution since uh, there's no clean way for this wide road to end here, besides doing that, or uh, transitioning to AV2 I mean. Yeah, so that's what I'll do. Then I can curve that around and merge it with that other arterial road. They'll give plenty of space on the transition there. Let's get our MWM curves.
Yeah, that works right. Are there network widening mod filler pieces? They used to be in the same menu, but now I think they're somewhere else. Okay, so what I'm going to have to do here is uh, use a new starter piece and try to just make an override that will hold. Where does it have two anyway? So can I fit the curve just right on top of this? Nah, that would be asking too much. It would probably be possible if I uh, made sure everything was completely flat though. Or well, not probably, but likely. Nope. Damn. Lost the override. Guess what? I'm putting a new one right there. like there's just not enough space for it to keep the override. Well, let's see if that's enough of a gap for the curve. It'll work. I just know it. Perfect. That took a lot of doing for how simple it was. Yeah, so like that looks pretty good if you ask me. And I'm really tempted to just continue this road on through the whole way. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Since I'm doing that, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna want to fix this area up. Let's have the grades be in the middle of blocks, right, as opposed to right next to uh, major intersections where people will be needing to slow down. need just one more tile there it looks like. And that's going to be uh, so we now need a left turn lane going westbound. So basic two lefts. Let's get that right. Perfect. I just need the new intersection piece, and that's it. In fact, we might as well do the same thing here. Alright, just uh, type A1 here. Base network transition. Get that same uh, base network transition over there. Like 
except obviously facing the other way. Okay, yeah, that's right this time. Um, this isn't much room for the kind of curve I wanted here. Yeah, that's going to be a really small turn lane. You know what? It's probably worth it. Yeah, yeah, I mean, at least one car can kind of fit there. Alright, now all we have to get is the Avenue Type AX STR. And that works perfectly. So, can we scroll all the way down to monorail? Oh, come the fuck on, dude. Kinda inclined to come the fuck on, dude. No. Just trying to eliminate this rise here. Probably do the same here, honestly. Yeah, that's about it, though. Okay, so... Um, I might as well focus on the area north of the highway first, now that it's time to get into zoning. Definitely going to want a street coming out here. Actually, it might as well be tiled down. I'll just get rid of the di old diagonal here because there's no need for it, really. And of the agricultural zones because they're really just visual detritus at this point. And just a couple more. Yeah, perfect. So now we've got this big blank canvas to work with. And I think we're going to be doing old fashioned uh, grid type zoning. You know, it seems relatively fitting with the North American character of this region. But yeah, it's not going to work if these uh, streets don't line up. Maybe I could just have curves around this side. But there isn't really a neat uh, detail street curve, is there? Yeah, I don't think so. Uh, I know what I'll do. I'll just S curve the street on both sides, kind of. Yeah, look. 
this. And that should work fine, right? Place that bus stop. Can't get it quite in the same place. So it's going to have to be next to that mound of trash after all. Sorry for all the poor folks who have to wait for that. Or right, wait right next to that. So yeah, these roads are just going to be long and straight. Not every single one is going to go all the way through. This one's a bit of a major road in its own right. Or, well, that's the attention anyway. So I'm just going to have that continue kind of on through for a ways. As a collector road so that this one won't see quite as much stress. you parallel to the ramp here. Mm. Yeah, that's about perfect. Um, now for north-south streets. Have one here. Seven. Yeah, seven on either side, so that's pretty even. Mm. Yeah, hopefully this should work out. Strongly inclined to just say fuck it to this pattern here. And to create new arterial. I would like to feel this. Maybe I'll get some two lefts in place now. Could use one here. One here. One of these here. No! Looks like it worked in the end at least. Now we've just got to improve this, these areas a little bit. Oh, there's a starter piece here. No wonder it was not cooperating. Well, Honestly, if it, it's that close, we might as well just get rid of the road floor for that uh, section. No, we're going to get rid of it altogether, all the way up until there. 
where it ends anyway. Except for like a block. So yeah, a lot of base network avenue in this city. In fact, with this number of cross streets, I'm really tempted to just tear out this avenue now. And yeah, I can repair that too up. And I'll be replacing it with a, another TLA5. Hopefully nobody feels like I'm overusing that network. Yeah, gonna have to replace that bus stop, unfortunately. out of the way. Except these two. No, it came very close to a crash right there. Didn't even notice how close I was waving that near to the rail yard. Yeah, that's a poor spot. Okay. So far so good. Whew. This is frustrating. Wow. It's just not got no clue what network it wants to be. What did it just turn into? Like OWR? TLA5. Where the fuck is TLA5? Okay, almost got it. What if I can find the right place to click? So that fixes that part. And... Looks like I almost had it. Looks like I finally have it. Well, actually I don't really at all. Hmm. Just a couple more times. 
tiles. Oh, because the surface right there. Okay, well this should work. I can move this down a tile too. Yeah, that appears to work just fine. Alright, got that one all fixed up. Get that back in place there. Ooh, looking a lot better already, isn't it? Where's the avenue stuff? Why wasn't it... Why was it rotating the wrong way? I don't get that. So, now I'm gonna have to do two laps for all, uh, these two intersections. Get these pieces in first. A one, a one. Road intersection pieces. A one, a one. Yeah, that's right. A one and a one. Now the intersections. Yeah, plus intersection. And another cross intersection. Uh, maybe this could be industrial from now on. Maybe a little commercial along the main road, actually. That probably wouldn't be too bad an idea. This is probably enough room to use the normal street smooth curve. So I think I'll do that. Looks nice. Might give it a little bit of space first actually. and makes a difference. Yeah, yeah, that looks okay. We can have more of the same block system as down here. How many tiles away was that? Three? Just try to make these things match as much as possible. Yeah, looks so looks good so far. Might as well do bus stops before I do zones this time. Oh, I got rid of a bus stop somewhere. That was around here, I think. Maybe I can replace it with that. Yeah. So every other intersection is often what I do on, uh, uh, what's it called? Streets like these. Although over here it's kind of too close to make much sense. Yeah. It's like right there. No, no, no. 
this would go here. And that over there. Uh, yeah, there could be one in this area. There's already one around there. Here, one up here, one like that. It's already one right there. Probably need one here. And that should be good for now. Okay, now time to mass residential zones. Something like this. Ooh, I was going to do a few road bus stops too. I'll just do those after I'm done right here. Yeah, not too many parks around here or anything. Actually, parks. I really should have, you know, at least like one for this area. I could just have like a local green space dog walking park thing right here. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Over here, I would have a park. Except that, uh... Kind of too close to the industrial district, I think. Over here. I think this would be a good opportunity to increase the density of the city a little bit with some apartment buildings. Alright. Yeah, over here should really be something other than just zones too. I'll figure it out in a moment. Let's get these areas zoned up too. No, that's really not gonna work. I mean, how, how dumb are you, game? there. Oof. That could be really rough. I want that to zone in as one. I'll actually do that. Just to try to encourage the two by one lots to grow right there. Well, this would probably be a good little circuit to put some uh, red zones on. No, again with the apartment buildings, maybe. Yeah, that's it though. I won't have any more than that. Maybe a tiny commercial zone there. Actually, that would probably be better as a bus stop.
Oops. Yep. Got people living right on the main uh, surface working to town there. Don't know how realistic that is, but doesn't seem too bad, does it? We'll have a partial intersection there. Over here, I think I'll keep some blank terrain. Might as well have that somewhere, right? Okay. I've still got to finish uh, this partial highway interchange, too. So I'll do that right away. Success. That's what I like to see. Uh, I like to see the MIST intersection. Is that right? Can I see what's different? I gotta zoom in. Yeah, I want the in, not the out. How are you supposed to know, though? Oh, because the MIS is going in or out of the intersection. I got it, I got it. Now we just need a couple blank terrain pieces. No need for pylons here. All right, and man, we have been making so much progress that I was paranoid about a crash there. <laughs> but we should almost be finished here, honestly. Yeah. You know what, I'm gonna save off camera and check how much time I've been recording. Yep, we're running a little bit short on time, so I figure I will just put in this park. I uh, haven't decided what kind of park I want it to be yet, though. So it might be a bit easier said than done. <laughs> Maybe a Venetian-style park. Oh, that's a canal piece. And so is that. How's that look? Pretty cool, actually. Could probably have a park with a uh, you know, if I'm doing this style of park, I really might as well do it down here. Fits in pretty nicely, right? Yeah, let's actually try to flatten this area as much as possible. Actually, we're going to be flattening it from here. <laughs> Isn't that the tile I can get rid of? Yeah. Just what I wanted. All right, so let's get the coolest looking plaza right there. Let's 
I'll have a couple of well, one of those. Then maybe a line of these things. And some more uh, two by twos by the edges. that look like? Damn, it's pretty cool actually. You know what? I think that's gonna go over here. And that local bus stop there, we can move over, say right here. Where else were we? Got one or two of those. Honestly, that looks a little bit better here than a uh, fountain. The fountain we can move back up there. Maybe have another of them over in this area. Yeah, I think we'll have two fountains actually. So let's just fill in what's left until then. Actually, I think I'll just have a couple of these pieces. Yeah, it works fine. Uh, actually, I don't want one there. This is what I wanted from the start. Yeah, yeah. So let's go back down. Whoops. Yeah, that looks cool. there. Scroll all the way back up because I want one of those two pieces again. And back on down. Gotta say, I like it. Now we can fill in the middle with a maybe some forest park. Should give us some really tall trees. Yeah, yeah. That should be a cool little urban park area. pretty close to the waterfront and everything. Enjoy some salt air and the local farmer's market or whatever would be held at, these, at this kind of plaza. Maybe some live music. Now that we got that like that, I feel like there's not too much to lose from building this. And uh, the last thing we have to do before Resuming the time for a bit is uh, finish these bus stops. Definitely use one there. Probably one over here. Right here. Maybe there. And down up here. Looks like we're already pretty much set, actually. So, without further ado, let's see how this stuff zones on in. There's a lot of residential zones, but a lot of new jobs have been plopped recently too. Ah, 
I like these. Now that's a different kind of row home. I won't say I don't like it, but I don't think it really fits there. Not what I was going for. And maybe what I could do to offset the undesirability of living so near the heart of the industrial district is plant a bunch of trees here. And I hate uh, using these forest parks because they do contribute to crop box. Uh, but I don't. I don't know, there's not much alternative if you want the park effect and you just want trees. What's our desirability for uh, residential anyway? Pretty good in general. It's much lower around the highway and the heavy industries, but Seems like this park does a great deal to offset that. I will. Yeah, they really only want to live in the city center. Woo, they love it around there though. Let's just see if we can't get most of these buildings to come in. I'll give it a couple years, but I don't want to, you know, put too much time on the clock. Permanently screw the city education-wise. Yeah, when I finish uh, working on all these areas up here, I'm planning to, uh, you know, really go in with uh, city services kind of like I did in uh, Sochi and San Ginés and Capizas oh, looks like people are really using the new infrastructure that's pretty cool That would be so cool if I could somehow get like off ramps and uh no, it would be kinda of close. It would be it would be weaving issues with putting another partial ramp here. Plus it's so close to this interchange, I mean there's already weaving issues in this city basically. I don't want to make it worse. Turn off the grid to just wash this. What's our traffic grid look like? Uh, volume? We have quite a bit of congestion already, damn. That sucks. Oh. Oh, fucking graphical render issue. Yeah, it looks like... Let's see where this trap is even going. Looks like just the traffic in and out of the port is pretty bad. Yeah, that kind of sucks. Oh well. Yeah. Only 15 people are using the passenger rail from this this time. That's quite a few less than the last time uh, I did this. About volume. Okay, at least they're using the roads that I wanted them to instead of all piling on some street somewhere, right? I'm glad I made this uh, arterial road in retrospect. 
because traffic over here is only going to get more serious. So come on, let's uh, see some development come in. Where are they zoning in first? Looks like this dude is a popular destination. Damn, my highway just turned red. Hopefully, yeah, just a lot of people on it. Congestion wise, though, yeah, it's not a big issue. Fire breaks out. Damn, do I even have any fire protection services? Uh, where is the fire? Right here. Let's see where that has to come from. Is it like somewhere way over here? Oh yeah, it's got to get on the highway. It's going to take hell long. There in plenty of time. Oh no! They aren't able to do anything, no! Okay, time for a new large fire station. And it is gonna go right in the middle of things. Oh, the fire just burned itself out. Never mind. Get rid of that. Get another one to put in a bit of a better location. Uh, maybe I could find one that isn't Maxis. Use. Huh. Yeah, I like the look of this one. Screw having apartment buildings for this whole block. That looks pretty cool. Are these zones never going to come in? Like, this is right next to a park, too. And I know they have plenty of jobs. But, oh, well, I don't have to finish, uh letting this area zone this time, because I'm just going to be building more residential next time anyway. So, I guess uh, it's been another long episode, and I'll just leave you for now, and catch you next time back in